What's up guys, got a very back with another box and today we got something very special. Well, in fact, one of them is my grails that I've yet to try and I've always wanted to try. So hey, today we get to try them. Try it, I meant to say. They're both not my grails, but one of them is. So, but I've always wanted to try the other one too. If I can, this. as you can see, there's nothing in the box whatsoever. Alrighty, let's get into it. Now, which one should we start first? Let's start with this one. Alrighty. So this one over there. Wow, I thought that case was gonna be bigger, but no worries. All right, I'll be right back guys and I'll start opening it. Oh yeah, I forgot right, guys, one more thing. Before we get this video started, I'm just gonna say this and I'm gonna do this with every single thing I get. Um, like for example, right now, when I get two Bally's in one package, I'm gonna do each Bally their own video. It's not gonna be a combination of the two, just because I think that's better, in my opinion. All right, guys, let's get started. So this is the Platheus Black Line. I've always wanted to try these, just because this is the lowest costing pale. I mean, usually pales knives, you guys know, are like 2,200 for BC Kukri's or BC Bowie's to 2,500 or 2,000. You know, they're up there. Now, the cheapest, one out there really is the Platheus black line why well it's just sandwich g10 look into this guys it's sandwich g10 with i think it's titanium liners or stainless steel liners i think it's titanium liners. i have no clue um but i don't think it would be titanium because titanium costs a lot and i think this is maybe stainless steel maybe i might i could be around or it's titanium i i don't know um wow that guy really did oil the blade you, I can already tell, but yeah, I, <clears throat> excuse me, back to what I was saying, this is the cheapest pale knife, and this Platheus black line, or back line, back line, is uh, around 700 to $900, and that's the cheapest pale knife you're gonna get. So, so the Platheus black line, and back line, I keep on saying black line, forgive me if I say black line, I'm used to saying black line, I have no clue why, but it is the back line. Um, is uh, Zenpin Construction, has uh, G10 sandwich construction handles with stainless steel or titanium liners. I forgot, I think it's titanium maybe, but wow, I really do like this. Let's get this out of the way. My God, dude. you put a lot of oil on this blade, like tons. Do you live in the South or something? Like no hate to you, but holy shit, dude. This is just covered in oil. Let me be right back guys and wipe this off. All right, guys, I'm back. And as you can see, I did wipe the blade full of that oil. The reason I wiped it is because I didn't want to get oil all over my setup or, you know, my camera, of course, you know, because oily hands and whatnot. But yeah, looks pretty good. I do like the blade. It reminds me of the Platheus Revolution um, style kind of blade, actually. And I think it is. It might be Ron, though. I just haven't looked at my... I don't usually watch my own videos. I mean, I, sometimes I do, but just to see what I could work better on. But honestly, I don't, I don't watch, I don't watch all of them. <laughs> That'd be kind of different. But other than that, the pale backline blade is definitely pretty cool. As of course he does an amazing job doing that crown spine. Look at that. Just, it's all handmade too. He just does an amazing job. It's all handmade by the way, guys. You know, if you guys don't know pale, Platheus is really, one, is my favorite maker. Literally my favorite maker. I'm a huge pale fanboy. And, uh, I mean, he makes everything hand out of his hands. I mean, handmade. No one else does that. He uses a mill, I think, and it's just his hands. While other people have CNC machining, which is the next knife, you know? And that's not made pure by craftsmanship. I mean, it is. Don't, don't get me wrong. It's perfection. The next one is. But it's not handmade like this. This is all handmade. Every single handle. Not the hardware, of course. But the blade, the liners, the spacers, the G10, just everything is handmade except the hardware. I mean, if you're gonna hard, handmade hardware, that's insane. So let's get back to the back line. The back line blade definitely shines. And don't get me wrong, I love it, but there's a reason why this is only $700 to $900. It's all custom made though, so, and it's all handmade, which you know, he usually does a spectacular job. But the blade doesn't shine like the others, you know? And if you guys know more about Platheus, all his blades usually shine. 
shine, just has a mirror polish, a nice smooth mirror polish. One of the best mirror polishes I've ever seen. You know, better than that Matt Cook DD, in my opinion. That Dirty Dozen, that mirror polish was way overcooked, in my, in my opinion. Let me, let me show you what I'm talking about. You guys already seen this knife before. This is my top grail. I'll probably never get rid of this. I've worked so hard to get one of these. The Platheus Bowie. I mean, the Platheus Recurve BC Custom Bowie. It's a long ass name. But yeah, just, you guys can see the, the shine that it gives. The shine that it gives off. You know, that mirror polish. So I just oiled this blade because you know, gotta keep them oiled. Uh, but yeah, just, it doesn't have that mirror polish. That really sexy, uh, just shine to it. You know, you guys can see the difference. It does have a shine, don't get me wrong, but not like that. And then you got the pale black uh, back line. <laughs> Keep on saying black line. I have no clue why. Back line, back line, back line, back line, back line. There we go, okay? <laughs> just repeat it like five times, right? But yeah, no, it just doesn't have that shine. And I really wish it did, but then again, yeah, I mean, you guys could just see it too. Now, I'm not saying that back lines are shit, but it doesn't have that shine. You guys could just see it. It shines because there's a light, but you guys can't just see that mirror polish right there. But yeah, just love that knife with all my heart right there. Um, but the back line, I, do, I also love this. I was flipping this a little bit when I was cleaning the blade off and it flips pretty well. This reminds me of a rep, to be honest, because it's G10. Sandwich construction D10 handles with a same pin construction. Just sounds really, really nice. But I think the only thing that I really wish that he did was put heavier spacer weights. Just from flipping this a little bit. Just because, I don't know. I feel like it needs a little bit more weight. Just a little bit more. Um, but then again, it's all handmade, guys. So you have to give him credit. But yeah, guys, the Platheus backline. This one is number 17 out of 31, D2-2, 2018. So that was February 2018. Uh, yeah, so, but just crazy cool. Now, the only damage to this backline is that there's a few chips on the G10. I saw this thing go up for sale probably like three, three, two to three times. Uh, one time on Facebook. Another time on Instagram, and then another time on Instagram. Actually, four times. Two times on Facebook and two times on Instagram. Um, and I just wanted to try it. Sorry about that, guys. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The Platheus Backline. The cheapest Pale knife that you can get, literally. There's no other cheaper knife from Pale. This is this is the cheapest. $700 to $900. Because, guys, his knives are pure perfection in art. I mean, there might be a little doodahs there, here and there, but... It's all handmade, guys. Give him credit. Like, literally, that's why he's one of my favorite makers, because it's literally all handmade. Everything, except the hardware. But literally, everything else is handmade. But the back line's pretty cool. It definitely reminds me of a rep of the sort, just because, you know, it's Zempi Construction, and it's G10. And it's Tonto, I think. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's a revolution, Tonto. I mean, I don't know what you guys would call it, but I like the blade style. But you guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was actually really cool to uh, actually flip and uh, see the back line. I've always wanted one of these. Um, just because, you know, you can, be, you can beat it up because it's literally the cheapest knife by Pale and I love Pale's knives. I literally do. But you guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a like, subscribe if you want more. And uh, yeah, follow my Instagram for the latest updates. It's at God of Aries. So it's at God underscore of underscore Aries underscore. I'll be posting pictures of this beauty. Same with that one. You guys already seen that. If you guys haven't seen the pictures of the BC Recurve Bowie Custom pictures, go check them out. They're literally probably the best pictures I took in this whole, whole thing. Not gonna lie, just because this knife, that knife is so damn beautiful. <laughs> I'm making this knife look like shit, but it's not. That's, that, I don't know how to say it, but hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, peace out.